Hi everyone, I'm Jennifer from English with Jennifer. Are you ready to study basic English? Don't forget to subscribe. Get all my basic English lessons and you can study with my students, Flavia and Andrea. Do you remember how we compare two things? For example, one bag is bigger and heavier. Another bag is smaller and lighter. We add the ending ER to short adjectives, adjectives with one or two syllables. Big has one syllable, big, big, bigger. Heavy has two syllables, heavy, heavy, heavier. Now let's compare three or more things. Ready? You can practice with Andrea and Flavia. All right, so we've been practicing using ER, younger, faster, newer, older. Just like we had good, better, best, we can have something that's new, something that's newer, mm -hmm. and then from a group, we can talk about new, newer, Newest? newest. Newest. The newest, newest again. So again, we have EST and we need the newest. Mm -hmm. All the spelling is the same. So if I take, for example, small, it's going to be the smallest. Mm -hmm. Young. The youngest. The youngest. Mm -hmm. Nice. The mm -hmm. nicest. And the same rules. If I take pretty, mm -hmm. Y changes to I. And we get the pretty, yes, the prettiest. Yes. Who's the prettiest? Angelina Jolie, mm -hmm. Julia Roberts, and Lady Gaga. <laughs> Who's the prettiest? Uh, maybe Julia Roberts. <laughs> Personally, is the prettiest. Same thing. Dirty, dirty, dirty. The dirtiest. dirtiest. Um, we can look at Andrea's floor, consider Flavia's floor, and my floor. And I think my floor is probably the dirtiest. <laughs> the dirtiest. Okay. So let's try this. We'll come up with ideas. Okay. Can you ladies tell me three fast animals? Um, lion? Lion, okay, yeah. Lion. Fast? Yeah. Cats? Okay. <laughs> like cats in our house, right? Cats. And I'm going to say horses. <laughs> okay. Which are the fastest? What do you think? Pinkies. Lions are faster. Fa faster. Are? Are the fastest. Lions are the fastest. Okay. Yes. Horses are pretty fast, but probably lions are the fastest. Okay. Which means out of these, what if we change that to slow? Okay. Which animals are the slowest? Cats. Yeah. Cats are the slow, slowest. The slowest of these three. The slowest, the slowest of these three. Okay. Um, let's talk about cold places. I think of Alaska. <laughs> what else? Where else is it cold? Boston. Boston. <laughs> Boston, all over the state. Massachusetts. <laughs> Massachusetts can be cold. It's May and it's cold. <gasps> Where else is it cold? Is there, is there a cold place in South America? Mm. No, it's all warm. <laughs> Argentina. 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 So what do you think, Flavia? Which place is the coldest? Alaska is the cold, coldest. It's the coldest. Mm -hmm. So which one do you think might be the warmest? Mm -hmm. Which one do you think is going to be the warmest? Not cold, but warm. Warm. Mm-hmm. Argentina. Uh, Argentina is the wor warmest. The warmest. The warmest. The warmest. The warmest. The warmest. Um, in our houses, there are things that we often have to lift. Where do you put your laundry? Your dirty clothes? All that laundry? I use a basket. 
Do you use a basket for your dirty clothes? No. No? Do you no. use the floor? <laughs> yes. I have a basket. What do you have? No. <laughs> yes. I have a laundry basket. Finally, because I, I need to carry the basket downstairs to, to my washing machine. Okay, we won't worry about that. How about... Um, what else wow. do you lift? No, nothing. What do you lift? Every? How about... Um, oh, a pot, maybe? Pot? Your pot when you cook? Pot? A pot of water in the kitchen? Mm-hmm. Like yeah. when you make pasta? Yeah. Yes. Okay, so how about when you make pasta, you have a pot? Pot. And the pot has water, and we have to mm-hmm. take it from the sink yeah. to the oven. So a pot of water. Pot of water. Okay. Water. And when you go to school, do you take books? Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Books. So we'll say your school books. So all these things are a little heavy. The purse, pot of water, and school books. School books. Which is the heaviest? Right, the heaviest. The purse. The purse is the heaviest. Yeah, for me too. My purse is the heaviest Mm -hmm. of all. Yeah. Do you agree? Yes. (laughs) (laughs) It is. So, what's the lightest thing here? Your purse, a pot of water, or your school books? What's the lightest? The light. uh, Pot of water. The lightest. Is the lightest. The lightest. Mm-hmm. A pot of water is the lightest. Good. Okay, so we can add the ending EST to short adjectives. Adjectives with one or two syllables. Help me form adjectives to compare three or more things. New. Newer. Newest. Cute. Cuter cutest, friendly, friendlier, friendliest, loud, louder, loudest, hot, hotter, hottest. Note the spelling of all these adjectives with the ending EST. Now look at photos. Which building is the tallest? Say the answer out loud. Say a whole sentence. Which vehicle is the fastest? Which place is the coldest? Let's go on. We need to talk about longer adjectives. Do you see these two places? Can we say that one place is beautifuler than the other? No, that's not right. Can we say that one place is more beautifuler than the other? That's not right. Listen and learn the correct way to compare two things with a long adjective. Ladies, with all of these words, you know the words are very short, right? Like hot, cold, young, old, pretty, dirty. So maybe one syllable or two. Cold, hot, big, small, or dirty, pretty. What about adjectives that are longer? Long? Longer. (laughs) Beautiful, interesting, intelligent, delicious. How many syllables? Beautiful. Three. Interesting. Interesting. Intelligent. Intelligent. Delicious. Three. Longer adjectives don't use er. Mm -hmm. We need help from what? More. More. Okay, so that's why we need help with more intelligent, more delicious. Mm -hmm. And then we still use than, right? Intelligent, delicious, interesting. Can you tell me in Boston, are there two beautiful places? Mm -hmm. 
Public garden? Mm. The gardens. The public garden. Mm -hmm. And what else? Mm. Boston Common. Boston Common. And which one is more beautiful? Are they both? The public garden. <laughs> oh, the public gardens? Yes, yes. more beautiful than Boston Common. Mm -hmm. um, I like just down by the river, the Charles River. Mm -hmm. I think it's very pretty near the river. Mm -hmm. um, is the Charles River more beautiful than the public garden? No. <laughs> <laughs> so. Uh, the public garden is more beautiful than Charles River. The Charles River. The yeah. Charles River. Mm -hmm. Is there one place that's more interesting? Uh -huh. uh, interesting. The beach or Charles River? The Ch Charles River. Interesting. Is? Is um, more interesting than the beach? The beach. The beach, yeah. I think so too. What can you see at the river, or what can you do? Um, walk. You can walk, yeah. true. I like looking at the boats. Yeah. And uh -huh. There's a lot of, there are a lot of people I, near the river, on the river. Mm -hmm. I think the Charles River is probably more interesting to watch. Okay, uh, let's talk about food. I know we've talked about chocolate ice cream, chocolate <laughs> cake, chocolate <laughs> sauce, we all love it. Um, is there anything more delicious than chocolate cake? Or no? <laughs> what is more delicious than chocolate cake? There can be cake. There can be ice cream. Oh, do you know pudding? Mm -hmm. Pudding, mm -hmm. like it's creamy and that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, is cake more delicious than pudding? Or is pudding more delicious than cake? Pudding more, more delicious. Than cake. <laughs> delicious. 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 What do you think is more delicious? Ice cream or pudding? Pudding. Pudding? Yes. It's more delicious than ice cream. Mm, yeah. That's hard. <laughs> to say. <laughs> no. Also talk about intelligent. Intelligent. It's hard to say who's more intelligent than another, but it gives you an example of an adjective that's very long, and we can't say intelligenter or more intelligenter. We have to say more intelligent than, more intelligent than. Um, we can talk about maybe famous people that we know that one person is smarter mm -hmm. or more intelligent than another, right? Um, I don't want to be mean and <laughs> think about <laughs> politicians. I'm thinking about presidents who are smart. Presidents who are smarter, uh, um, leaders are smart. Oh, who is your president? Who is the president in Brazil? Brazil is Bolsonaro. Bolsonaro. Yeah. Bolsonaro. Who was before Bolsonaro? Dilma. Dilma. What do people think? Who is more intelligent? Bolsonaro is more intelligent <laughs> than Dilma. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> And what do you think? Dilma is more intelligent than Bolsonaro. Their politics, people yeah. agree. In the U.S., they say, um, you know, Obama's smarter than Clinton, or Clinton's more intelligent than Trump. But it's just <laughs> politics are always something to fight about. <laughs> okay. Beautiful, more beautiful. We use adjectives like more beautiful to compare two things. We use more before longer adjectives, more beautiful, more interesting, more dangerous, more intelligent. What about three or more things and long adjectives? Can we say more beautifulist? Uh-uh, that's not right. Do you know the correct form? Watch and listen. Let's learn the correct way to use long adjectives when we compare three or more things. Now, just as we had more, if we have three, like cake, ice cream, and pudding, we can also use the most. The most. Who is the most intelligent? Who, what's the most delicious food? 
Name the most interesting place. Who's the most beautiful woman? Right? We can't say, right, est. It has to be most because these are long adjectives, right? So what do you think is the most delicious dessert? What's the most delicious here? Pudding is the most delicious. Is the delicious. most delicious. It's the most delicious. Do you agree? Uh-huh. Oh, I think um, cake, chocolate cake is the most delicious. <laughs> All right, so we're going to practice that. Do you have pens? Yes. Let's use two pens, one for you. All right, four questions. Number one. Mm -hmm. Oh, sorry. Yes, here. <laughs> <laughs> um, name the most beautiful place in the world. Mm -hmm. The most beautiful place. Place, not country. Place, country. Mm -hmm. Anything beautiful, the most beautiful place. Name the most intelligent person you know. The most intelligent person you know. <laughs> Name the most interesting place in Boston. Maybe not the most beautiful, the most interesting. The most interesting. It can be these or something else. Um, name the most delicious dessert of all. The most delicious dessert of all. Now we can share. <laughs> So we have to talk about the most beautiful, the most intelligent, the most interesting, and the most delicious mm -hmm. things and people. Um, I'll tell you my answer. I think the most beautiful place is Hawaii. Mm -hmm. What did you think? Hawaii. Did you? <laughs> yeah. I, yeah. I think. I, uh, what I, do you think? I think the most beautiful place is, is Hawaii. Mm -hmm. No. Do you think Hawaii is more beautiful than Brazil? Yes. Really? Uh -huh. I don't know. I've seen pictures of Brazil. It uh, looks beautiful. What do you think is the most beautiful place? The beautiful place is uh, uh, location. Uh, the public garden. The public garden. The public garden okay. is more the most beautiful. The most beautiful place here in Massachusetts, maybe. Yeah. Okay. Do you remember we said um, or we had to think about the most intelligent person we know? Who's the most intelligent person you know? My husband, the most, the most intelligent person. Person. He's the most intelligent person. He's the most person intelligent. The most, most intelligent, intelligent person. What did you say? My mom. Oh, yeah. very good. Give me the whole sentence. My mom. My mom is the most intelligent person. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay. I also said my husband is probably the most intelligent person <laughs> I know. He's very smart. <laughs> I asked you, what's the most interesting place in Boston? Mm, Boston Library. Oh, mm -hmm. The library is? The most interesting place mm -hmm. in Boston. Yeah. I said the North End. Martin. The North End is um, the most interesting place. Is there's restaurants, there's history. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't been there, but it's, it's very interesting. The North End is the most interesting place, I think. Yeah. What do you think? The public library. <laughs> the public library. <laughs> the public li library, the most interesting. It's the most interesting. The most interesting place in place. Boston. Yeah. And finally, of course, the most delicious dessert. What's that? Chocolate cake is the most delicious. <laughs> is the most delicious most dessert. Delicious dessert. Do you agree? I, I, uh, brigadeiro. Oh yes, <laughs> I know brigadeiros. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I tell you, I say, I wrote that ch um, chocolate cake is the most delicious dessert, but I'll change it. I think brigadeiros are more delicious. Yeah. Than chocolate cake. Oh yes, actually, I, I forgot about brigadier. <laughs> okay. Would you like a turn? You can share your ideas. Read these questions and write your answers in the comments. Name the most beautiful place in the world. Name the most intelligent person you know. 
Name the most delicious dessert. Flavia, Andrea, and I are going to try one more exercise. We're going to compare two things and we'll use short and long adjectives. Listen, and then you can try too, okay? okay. <laughs> so now I, we're going to each think of two things. What do we want to talk about? Two things and compare and write three ideas, right? Which is nicer, which is faster, which is more beautiful. So what are you going to talk about? Take a moment. If you can, try to use one with more. Like more interesting, more delicious, more expensive. Okay, <laughs> I just have little ideas. Mm -hmm. I know, to help me remember. <laughs> okay, I so try. we'll try. <laughs> I'll go first. So I want to talk about the piano and the accordion because I play the piano and I try to play the accordion. <laughs> I'm better on the piano. Um, three things. I think the piano is easier because the piano has keys. Mm -hmm. The accordion has keys and buttons. So the piano is easier. The accordion is heavier. The piano, you just sit and you play. Um, the accordion, you have to hold. The, the accordion is heavier. And the piano, I think, is more interesting than the accordion because you can play so much music. Um, so the piano is easier, the accordion is heavier, and the piano is more interesting. That's what I think. What do you want to talk about? I what? I want to talk. I want to talk about food. Okay. Yeah. Um, Brazilian food is better than American food. Okay. <laughs> I actually agree. <laughs> American restaurant is uh, more cheap. It's cheap. It's cheaper. Cheap. It's cheaper than Brazilian restaurant. Mm -hmm. We can use restaurants to mean all of them. So uh, Brazil, um, Brazilian restaurants and American restaurants. Uh, which is cheaper? Uh, American. So American restaurants are are cheaper than Brazilian restaurants. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Brazilian dessert is more delicious than American dessert. <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> and again, just like restaurants, you can talk about all desserts. Uh -huh. So Brazilian desserts are are more delicious than American desserts. Yeah. Besides brigadeiros, what do you like? Huh? What other desserts are? What are you going to do? <laughs> Is there another dessert? That's really good. Uh, you have a, a pudding, don't you have rice pudding? Yes. Uh, condensed milk? Yes, yes, yes. yes. Oh, that's delicious. It, yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's more delicious. I agree. I think it's very delicious. What do you want to talk about? Uh, the dogs and cats. Okay. Uh, dogs is have heavers. Heavier. Heavier. Uh, dogs is heavier the cats. Mm -hmm. Stop. Dogs. Dogs. Cats. cats. So dogs is or are? Are cats. Dogs are? Cats. Uh, uh, dog. Uh, uh, dogs are uh, he heavier. Heavier. Heavier uh, than cats. Mm -hmm. And cats uh, are fast, fast, faster, faster than dogs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cats and uh, cats are intelligent, more intelligent than dogs. Yeah, Whoa. that was very good. <laughs> okay, yeah, I think many people say cats are very intelligent. Let's end here. Was the lesson helpful? Remember to like this video and share it with others learning English. As always, thanks for watching and happy studies! Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the app Kiki Time. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications.